Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is 20 Minutes Till Dawn, an arena survival action roguelike we checked out about a month ago when it was called 10 Minutes Till Dawn in demo form. It is out now in early access, and we're going to be checking it out. It's more or less, if you don't know, a vampire survivors inspired game, but merged a bit more with the twin stick shooter genre. You do have control over your character. You aim where you shoot. So if you want something like vampire survivors, but you have more player autonomy, this is going to be more the game for you. So in the release, they added some meta progression too, and it looks like we got our meta currency carried over. So I put a couple points in here uh, for that. There's more character stuff added to the game as well, of course. And runs are now 20 minutes instead of 10, so you can see where they actually go. Let's go for this main character here. Can reroll upgrades once per level. It'll let us pick a build that more specifically, more intentionally. And then I don't think I used this crossbow in the uh, the demo. Bullet damage increases when you stand still. Damage bonus resets when you move. Uh, okay. So we have the 10 minute survival. This is the demo form one. Uh, or you can go for the new standard mode 20 minute survival. There is an ascension style system to go kind of hand in hand with the meta progression. So there is more game time there to be had. Uh, you can slowly make yourself stronger. But okay, so we do 20... We do 20 on the move, 30 when we're standing still. Gotta be honest, that's kind of rough. We really do need to get this to the point where we one-shot somebody, even on the move. Like, standing still, it'll take us like a little bit. So 24 does a kill. So if we stand still for just like half of a second, it's enough to, to get the kill. But like, it's a little awkward. See, doing 22 damage to somebody is terrible because it... It's basically the same as doing half of their health. It doesn't really matter. They die in two hits. I think for now, we just keep on staying on the move until we get to the spot where we can maybe stand and it'll be a little bit better. Uh, double shot projectiles plus one spread up. Bullet damage down. That's another option we could do. Bullet damage and knockback is also probably, probably the better thing to go for. We can either A, keep them off us, or B, more likely, get one-shots on the move now. Yeah, we get one-shots on the move. All right, so now there is currently, until we get an enemy on the field that has more HP, there is no reason to stand still to get that damage buff. They die in one hit anyways. 25 is, is the cutoff point there. Summon a ghost friend that shoots piercing bullets, maybe? Bullet speed spread down. Uh, piercing would be incredible. Reload rate and fire rate. Increase bullet damage by 30% for one second after reloading. We only have one shot in our clip, so... That should be, like... It's it's almost like a 30% damage increase for us right now, so... That sounds pretty good. Let's do it. Let's, let's, let's get towards that, because this is kind of like the Nova Drift style system, where when we unlock quick hands, these two will be added into the pool for us as possible options. So I'm going to go with quick hands for now. 20% uh, reload rate just basically equates to kill 20% more enemies at the current moment. So, alas... But yeah, I'll be curious to see what happens with the game now as far as difficulty goes, because the addition of meta currency and, uh, you know, meta progress, making your character stronger between runs, uh, the explosive guys do not die in one hit right now, uh, means that it might get tougher. Like, it may be one of those games where we're not supposed to win on our first run anymore. Like, I don't know. Uh, what do we got here? So we have, we got power shots. This is... And these explode into three bullets when killed. These bullets deal 10% damage. I don't know how useful that really is. 10% of our damage is fine. But, like, we're not really going to kill anybody with splinter shots. The reason to take this would be if we wanted reaper rounds. Bullet damage up, piercing plus one. Bullets pierce killed enemies. Okay, I mean... Okay. I'm taking this not necessarily because I think this is great. Like, eh... Oh, wait. Oh, oh, those... Okay, the splinter shots pierce too, though. Maybe it's not so bad, then. I did not I did not anticipate the splinter shots would also take the properties of our main gun. Okay. That's a little bit spicier. A little bit spicier. 
But yeah, we kind of want to go in very, very tiny little circles here. Tiny, tiny circles. Did we get the big, the big one? Big shot, uh, bullet damage, bullet size, fire rate down. I don't want that right now. Chance to inflict burn? Is this, does this still have the, uh, whenever you inflict burn, there's a 0.05% chance you heal for one. I think that's one of the only, only few ways to heal. Oh no, there's this now. That's a, that's a pretty big investment to go for that though. I'd rather just, um, like, not get hit that much. We'll see. Reload rate up. Increase bullet damage by 30% for one second after reloading. Again, theoretically, that's roughly just a 30% damage increase. We're doing four with our split shots now instead. If we stand still when we fire, the split shots go up to five damage. Not bad. But again, we're not really going to be killing very many people with our little four damage dinky shots. Standing still. Is it worth it yet? It might be. That's a tricky one. I feel like we need we need the piercing. Big shot. Uh, fire rate. Fire rate doesn't seem too bad. Double shot. We could probably do it. Take aim. What does that give us? That does give us penetration, maybe. Bullet speed up and spread down. I'm, I'm either going to take double shot or re-roll. I'm disappointed. All right. The fire rate could be good. Bolts have a chance to burn. We could go for that. We could start going for the HP. Big shot. I don't like... The thing that's sticking with me is the fire rate downgrade right now because we are one-shotting anyway, so this damage is going to maybe be good later. Like, big shot is something I'll probably be happy to take in, like, five minutes. But I don't think it's that good to take yet. So it's either HP, fire rate. Fire rate's very temp. Sure. Why not, right? What's What would be wrong with fire rate? I guess what would be wrong is we're adding two things to our pool that we probably don't want to take. One piercing sounds good, but there's that other thing that just pierces everything we kill, so... It feels like it's going to be a redundant pickup. Uh... Summon an egg that will hatch into a drag in three minutes. I'll do a summon build next, I think. Every second shot, call down lightning. That is way better on a fast firing build. Not as good now. I wouldn't mind double shot, but I feel like we can do better. I don't know if I want max ammo up. It's kind of... It's accidentally a dis-synergy. We either go for the shield, which is protection from damage once every two minutes... Call down lightning when this active holy shoot. I mean, I kind of like holy shield into divine blessing. Whenever you have the holy shield, you get 25% move speed and more importantly, probably the reload rates. I'm uh, between holy shield and vitality. I think holy shield will fit my my experience level with these kinds of games better. I think. Like it, this is like I I'm gonna die from chip damage instead of dying from huge overwhelm. That's basically what this is me hoping. Hoping is going to be true. Okay, we got ourselves a mini boss. And yet we still don't have our good piercing move here. Just keep going. Still no good reason to stand still, I don't think. Not yet, at least. Uh, Big shot. Do, do we need both to get... I don't. I didn't think we needed both to get Reaper rounds. I did not think we needed both. Magnetism sounds good, but then we're like really bringing in two more things. Yeah, I I was not under the impression you needed both because I have done this before and I did not need both. This would help our um, our random shots be more likely to kill. I'll take it. To doing five now. Oops, this was not the place to go. Not the place to go there. 
Oh boy. Yeah, those the little uh, the spread shots are doing a little bit better now. They're actually doing a little bit of work. Come on, give me my. There's Reaper rounds. Okay. Well, it showed up now that we picked both, but I'm, I'm still not convinced that that is actually required. I, when I played before, it it was not. I, I've done I've done a run of this where that was not the case. Uh, bullet damage up, piercing up, bullets pierce killed enemies. This should be. Yeah, this is fundamentally massive. This is exactly... You can maybe see now why I've been trying to tunnel vision that perk a little bit here. If we kill enemies in one shot, then guess what? This just means everything in this line now dies. That's what this means. Want to get that while he's by it. A uh, double shot could be worth it. I don't really want spread down. If I if I take double shot, I don't really want spread down. Uh, eh. When shooting your last ammo, shoot ten additional bullets in a circle. Okay, fan fire and split fire are great. Like I don't necessarily. I don't think I want to take fusillade. I think that would be um bad. Like actually actively bad. Oh god, I did not see that guy. Three halo pieces can now appear. As upgrade choices, collect all three to recover Shauna's halo. Okay. A problem with this build is that we kill enemies very, very far away from us, which is, like, such a silly thing to say in a way. Like, oh, man, enemies die so far from us. But it's true. It means that it's going to be tough to get all this experience, really. Uh, No, probably? Fire rate, max ammo. I don't think I want max ammo. I think it'll di be disynergistic with what I eventually want to do here. What do these do? Move speed up. Inflict burn on nearby enemies as you run. Walk speed up. No. You both have a chance to inflict freeze. Could be good. I don't know. Like, if our random shots do it. I'm taking this halo piece. I'm so curious. Okay, we got one halo piece out of, out of three. I don't know what happens when we get it. If it takes three upgrades, it better be good. Like, it better be great. So far, so fine this run, though. Ironically, we want to uh, be a little bit further from enemies at the moment. Ooh, compared to what I was just saying about experiences so far away from us. And then I now want to be further from enemies, but still. Oh. We got ourselves a mini boss. Hey, you jerk. When is our, uh, man, when does our shield come back? Oh, hello. Uh, reload rate, nope. Magic lens, nope. Vision range, all enemies in your vision range take five damage every two seconds. It's tempting, but. I don't know if I want bullet bounce. That actually might be bad. It also gives us bullet damage down. Magic lens seems curious, but. There, we got... We got two out of three halo pieces. Dodge. Duck, dip, dive, dodge. Huh. If I can dodge a wrench, I can dodge a demon horse from hell. Wait, you got, why did you get it? What? He did his attacks so quick in front of each other. What? Okay, it's proximity-based. Gotcha. Gotcha. Does it based off of it? What does that sound? Gotta clear out a space to move. Yeah, I thought I thought it was based off a of cooldown. Does not seem to be the case. We're one away. Fan fire whenever shooting your last bullet. Also shoot ten additional bullets in a circle for fifteen percent damage. I think it's worth right. Like we only have one shot in our clip. It also. Like, just does a good job of pushing enemies away from us. Oh, the shield's gone. Good. And by shield, I mean, you know, that... Whatever that demon thing keeping us centered is. Alright. Speaking of demon thing. I want that. I want that. Let me pick it up. Bullet bounce plus two. So these are like kind of curses. We may not want one of these. Bullet bounce up by two. Bullet damage down. No. Uh, 
bullet damage up, bullet size up, piercing up. I already have like infinite piercing. Fire rate down, move speed up. These are all just kind of bad. The only thing I might take is uh, Tome of Speed. I'll take that. Seems good right now, I guess. Like, we don't want lower fire rate. We're already having some fire rate issues. But so now we can, like... Ironically, having a speed up might put us in a situation where we can justify standing still. Because we can run away quicker. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, this is kind of working. It's a weird build, but it's working. If it's weird and it works, it ain't that weird. We're we still one-shotting. We are no longer one-shotting. That is concerning. We one-shot if we stand still still, though. Okay, we need a little bit of damage. We need a little bit of just raw damage then. Uh, vision range, or maybe glare could work. Just give me some raw damage. Oh, God. Pickup range is probably not what I'm looking at. None of this is really what I'm looking for. Magic lens could work. Bolts to pass through, will inflict burn, gain two bounce. I don't know about that, man. Yeah, maybe we do need all these. I guess I'll go with glare. Yep. Unfortunately, we kind of need to stand still now. Because they've scaled up to not die in one hit, which is a huge sticking point for us. They're still not dying in one hit. Uh-oh. In hindsight, the, the double damage or double bullets for the 10% damage downgrade is making a really big world of difference here. We're still doing fine. But like it is a little sketchy. XP is not coming nearly as fast. We're almost at the point where we would have beaten the demo. Almost. It's so awkward doing these little stutter steps. Oh boy! Yeah, we really cannot take the uh, the thing that increases how many shots we have in our clip, though. That would be problematic. God, these guys have so much more health. Okay, go, go, go. Huge. Oh, my God. Let me breathe. I want to get down to, to that experience. Okay, they gotta be getting kind of low there. Okay. <laughs> uh, bullets have a chance to inflict burn. Could be nice. Move speed, fire rate. Eh. Vision rain. Glare is doubled. It's. I, I want this, but I would rather get the freaking halo thing. Oh my god. This is silly. Alright, good. If we get hit, though... If we get hit, though, this is suddenly very sketchy. Because we lose our 25% that we just got. Huge. Halo? Where's that freaking Halo? I don't think I can... Well... At this point, maybe I could take Fusillade. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I could take it, and it'd be fine. Don't want the max ammo. That'd be problematic. I don't really want spread down. I want the final Halo. Uh, 
I I guess I'll get the divine wrath. I I guess. Oh no, that was awkward. I'm getting a little bit uncomfy. A little bit uncomfy. Give me the final halo! Shoot an additional bolt behind you. That's so big right now. I can't even look at the other thing. I. Also, look, we, we have proof. We have proof. We don't have split fire. We don't have fan fire. We've been getting offered fusillade like crazy. Are we finding a shot? Yeah, we're finding exactly one shot behind us, but it makes a difference. It makes a really big world of a difference. Uh-oh. I'm risking it, man. There's the halo. I think I I think I just have to blindly take it. Fire rate up, reload rate up 50%. This is crazy. Okay. These guys, what do these guys do? They're concerning, they are annoying. They are not dying very quickly. Oh boy. All right, now what do I even want? What do I even want? Move speed, fire rate? Not really. Pick up, pick up range is probably fine. Every second shot, we are doing more shots than we were. When lightning strikes an enemy, there's a 20% chance to automatically refill three of your ammo. It's, it's an interesting one. All lightning damage increased by 12%. Area of effect up. Eh, eh. Like, it's nice with our shield thing, I guess, but like, I'm going magnetism or reroll. I don't know. I don't even know how many more perks in the game that I like really even care about. Like I might be at a f more or less a full-ish build. We might want to start to go for burn though, so we could maybe get the heal or something or or max HP. Max HP, magic lens. Those are all viable. We could get a familiar of some kind. Deals as much damage as your bullets could also be pretty good. Sure. Like, our, our bullets do pretty good damage. Because we just... We have a slightly, theoretically slower firing weapon. A dagger that copies our bullet damage is pretty juicy. Okay. We gotta find whoever's firing, shooting bullets at us. Those are gonna be the more concerning things. Man, everything takes so long to die now. Oh my god. Okay, we would have won if we were playing the demo already. But we are not playing the demo. This is new territory. God, everything takes so long to kill. Oh no. Trusting the AoE a little bit there. Woof! Is this where you is this where you need the meta progression to like actually kill us something? Let's go find some experience. I bet you we got a lot hidden around here. Yes we do. I'm also like not I'm weirdly not in that much danger. Should we kill that demon tree? I'll be honest, I don't know what killing the demon trees do. I feel like we got more. We got, yeah, we keep on finding more of these really big experience pockets. What's this? Mini clip reload rate up 100%, bullet damage up 50%. Max ammo minus 60, 666. Well, that seems just really good. That just seems broken. That's just really good. It, 
it, it almost looked like it was some kind of curse to an extent, but it's it's not really. Okay, so this guy's like a boss. Of sorts. I will say, like, our damage up is not even really that noticeable. Meta progress, who? Okay. Uh. Holy. I, I can definitely tell, like, we're supposed to be doing more damage, though. And, like, to an extent, I'm not really seeing too many more damage upgrades we can get, but we unless we start going for familiars. But I do hope that that's not, like, the part of the game... Like, that's not a big part of the game where it's, like, you just have to take the same things every time. Like, if, if there's only enough perks that, like, you will eventually pick up everything, and the question is, what order are you going to get it in? That's not very exciting to me. I hope that's not the case. Like, I, I hope that there's runs where you don't take summons. I'm, like, doing just fine for as far as, like, ain't nobody getting near me, really. I'm also barely killing anything, though. Thank you. Come on, be, be you like crazy. Experience gained by 40%? I mean, thank you. It's a little late, like... But okay. A little late, but all right. Like, I'm not really finding experience anymore. We can slowly, like, push through enemies, I guess. Just, we basically just move, stop. Move, stop. Five minutes left. Things ain't dying, but I'm not either. We just need to survive. Like, if we can keep them away from us, everything is, else is irrelevant. Like, as long as there's not an enemy that's just going to charge on through. Like that dang demon horse did. I don't really need to kill them. But their health is obviously, like, obscene. Oh, what did I say? Oh. Oh, that's probably fine. Unless there's something else with it at the same time, that's not that big of a deal. Is it going to take a while to kill? Yeah, probably. It will probably take 12,000 years to kill. Ooh, this is a little bit awkward. If you summoned it there. Nope. Want to be a little bit more towards the center? Okay. Okay. I will kill you one day. These enemies shooting out bullets are what some of the more concerning units for us. If, if a lot of them are on the screen, we will like be forced to take damage at some point. If we go a long time and we never kill one. Okay. Big old shield is gone. That's helpful. I feel like killing the, uh, oh no. Two bosses at the same time. Now that's a problem. Now that's a little bit more of a problem. Like, I just, I'm not getting experience anymore. But we do have smaller units now. Like, maybe the, God, we just... We're fall falling behind, but knockback and everything is is kind of like it, it's kind of meta progression agnostic, you know. Like if it's either a, an enemy is pushed back and they can't hit you, or they're not. It's really it's agnostic to how strong you are for damage, which is fantastic because I can't kill anything because <laughs> I. I have an entire meta progress tree that's sitting there sad right now. I don't know what happened to that bird. Oh, he's over there. Just keep running then. I'm gonna have three bosses on the screen when we die. Inevitably. Well, that guy's not moving anymore. No, he is. He just stopped for a sec. I'm trying to continually move in one direction so like I will eventually kill some things. Like we're getting there. 
But I've not seen the level up screen in ages. I've not seen it in ages, man. Two minutes to go. Two minutes to go. We need to keep on moving this way. Just keep running. The further we are from that guy, the easier it's going to be to dodge his lasers. Uh, what the hell just happened there? I took two hits, I guess. That's bad, though. That's really bad. We lost a lot of um, reload speed there. The further away, the easier we dodge, to dodge the lasers. I mean, of course I get hit then, but I its also I'm, I was telling the truth. We weren't that far away when that happened. I need to be further. Okay. God, I wish I could kill this guy. I mean, I bet you he's probably like at like half. Knowing how it much is taken for everybody else to die, he's probably at like half. Oh, he doesn't fire if we're far enough away from him? All right, let's just run then. All right. See you later. Peace out, boss. <laughs> See ya. That or we kill them. I doubt it, though. I'm just going to keep running. <laughs> All right. There's some experience. Maybe one day we'll reach uh, like an EXP pocket we had from before. Who knows? I, I'm expecting like a nasty boss at 30 seconds, though. Thirty seconds. No nasty boss. Lots of enemies, sure. But like again, yeah. If you're looking to just win a run on your first run without meta progression, just do this. Just do this. It's pretty, uh, pretty easy. I'll be honest. I'm gonna die now that I've said that. We got nine seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Too easy piece of cake? Who, knew, who needs better progress? Who needs better progress? Uh, great. <laughs> Sunrise. Right, let's go quit the menu. I would like a stronger build. That would be great. Uh, so what do we got? We got, we can unlock a new character. What kind of, what kind of difference does this make? 2%, so 10% damage, 10% fire rate. 10% chance to inflict burn or freeze. 10% pickup range. Or no, 15% uh, pickup range. Uh, when below fit your HP is below half of your max, get an additional 15% fire rate and knock back. Knock back. Okay, knocking back enemies after reloading. These are... Um, <laughs> these are huge upgrades. These are, these are some huge upgrades that we just don't have yet. Um, so, like, it, it's interesting, because it's this uses the same currency, unfortunately, as unlocking characters, which is a bummer. Because I want to unlock a character. I want to unlock a character and a weapon. Grenade launcher, bat gun, shoots bats that chase enemies. Bats are both summons and bullets. All right, I'll get the bat gun. Is there anything that's good at summons? Uh, when enemies are killed, they summon a spirit. That's probably that probably counts as a summon, right? We'll go for that. When enemies are killed, summon a spirit. Chase down nearby enemies, deal eight damage, and then we we'll go for the bat gun. Let's give it a shot. Again, I, like I don't really want to. Small enemies appear more often. Here's the thing: like we beat that on a fluke. We beat that on a fluke. We weren't doing enough damage to kill anything. I think that we are intended to have more meta progress, or we need to do like a completely different build because like. I we just weren't doing enough damage. This is simple as that. Like we stopped leveling up. Do these so these home in? These do home in. Okay. And then when we kill something, we get the little skulls. I'm assuming and hoping that those are both getting benefit from summons. Speaking of which, summon a ghost friend that shoots piercing bullets for 22 damage. Probably a good call, right? Um getting something like double shot and eventually getting Fusilade to double how many bats we're summoning could be interesting, depending on how many, um, depending on how many different weird modifiers there are regarding summons. 
Like there's something. Oh my god. I feel so slow after last time. That 50% movement speed up was a uh, lifesaver. We're definitely quite weak at the moment, but. You never want to say that this build. This, uh, summons are weak. Like, just based off of this, because I bet you they're not. Uh, fire rate up is interesting. Pick up rate, take aim. Oh, we can't reroll. That's right. We cannot reroll. Bolts have a chance to inflict burn. We could go for a burn into uh, soothing warmth. Bolt damage and knockback, certainly interesting. Fire rate up. Uh, nothing to say no about. Like Siege could have been fun to eventually get, but like we would have had to take rubber bullets. I'm, I'm happy we did not take rubber bullets. Maybe near the end it could have been nice, but here's the thing. Like the second we stopped one-shotting enemies, like things got really messy. Like we could we couldn't then pivot to rubber bullets because we stopped getting experience. So I'm either saying power shot could be nice because bullet damage up. I know that the the knife summon, for example, goes based off of our bullet damage. I don't think this ghost friend does. I think he does a flat 22 damage, no matter what. Okay, look at that. I like that skull. Oh my god. Our movement speed when we shoot is just abysmal. We need to get back up there. We need to get back up to that experience. Yeah, this is feeling more painful than the other character already for sure, though. This start is a lot weaker. That that I can say with confidence. This start feels weaker. That doesn't mean anything. Summon, uh, give all your bullets, plus 30% damage to size. I mean, that could be nice. It does count as a summon. Bullets have a chance to freeze. You know, give me the magic lens. It, our, if our shots are, like, homing anyways, we might as well be constantly shooting them through the lens, right? Unless we, like, really have a specific unit we want dead. Is it working? Is it working? <laughs> uh, igniting lens bullets that pass through will burn. Probably nice. Probably nice. I mean, again, like... It's like we might as well... Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm so slow with this character. Look at this. Look at how... We don't do enough damage to, uh, to warrant being the slow, but... Here, see this, though? We will, like... We will eventually pop off to the point where if we are killing things... Oh, God. I I may just want to, like, reset this one. This is... Like, I can't really do anything. Not yet. And I'm already at the 2 HP. Or, uh, 2 HP. I'm already at 1 HP. And we don't have the meta progress that gives you healing upgrades on enemy drop. Summon an egg that'll hatch in three minutes like I would like to. All the effects of the magic lens are... Double, but the sizes have summon attacks. Summon attack speed up. Uh, I do want summon attack speed, but I don't think I need it now. Unless... I don't know. I think... Can I, can I live three minutes? I, I guess I'll take this and hope I live three minutes, but... I think it's a mistake because I don't think we can live three minutes. <laughs> I just don't, I don't think we can live three minutes with this build without getting something else to make us stronger. Yeah. Good. Just get all this experience. Thank you. Uh, bullets to pass through gain plus two bounce. That actually seems really nice. That's big for us. That's really... That's big for us. It's unfortunate that we are almost dead, so we might not be able to see the, you know, the fruits of this cool new upgrade, but I'm happy oh, to have at least gotten to see... There's a chance... This was a bad way to move. Happy to at least see there's a chance to have pivoted this out. Unless we can get a shield. Dragon gains 8 damage every 60 seconds. Even works if it's still an egg. I mean, fine. 
Oh, I didn't see that guy behind the tree. I didn't see the guy behind the tree. Let's do a salty run back on that. I do want to see it work. I want to see it work. But this seems like, yeah, the, the start is, is weaker. But the fact that we have this built-in thing that when we kill an enemy, they shoot out a shot that kills somebody else, that means that our scaling is going to be really good. But it, it's going to be a feast or famine character. Like, if we're not killing, we're in pain. And our shots are spreading. We, we need, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Reload rate up, fire rate up. Could be good. Move speed, vision range. The move speed could be good. Let's do move speed. Because it gives us fire rate, not a lot, but it gives us a little bit of fire rate too. But yeah, again, we kind of want to focus fire on enemy, which is sort of tough with this gun. When we get summons going, we can start to see some pop-off potential, but we're going to need raw summon damage, probably. We're going to need... I don't know. That that bounce upgrade for the, uh, the lens was good. It was really, really nice. It could go up to, at max rank, I think it would be four bounces. Super duper fire rate up, blazing speed, inflict burn on nearby enemies when you run. Let's start by making ourselves stronger so that we can get to the point where we can pick up all the summons. Like, we, we need to be doing something ourselves first. Like, we can't just only rely on our pals early. It seems like they are strictly supplementary early game. Maybe they do enough later, though. That's my, that's my anticipation is that they scale well. Okay. Let's pop fire in. There. Yeah, we need to try. Like it's it's tough with a home like a weird homing gun like this to focus fire the uh, the bomb boys, but that would be big for us. Ghost friend, it might be the time. Rubber bullets could work too. Siege. Rubber bullets. Uh, and that like little lens. Sounds like a nice angle. Oh my. We're doing less damage, but... So, s focusing single target has just become, like, nigh impossible, but still. Hopefully, hopefully the bounce will make up for it due to the fact that these shots are homing. The bounce is not as much of a waste. I saw that one coming. I saw that one coming. And yet, there's nothing I can do about it yet. Go, go, go. Bullet damage and knockback could be nice. Oh, the magic lens could be good. Too. We could do it. Um, spread down is interesting. And bullet speed's not bad either for us. I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna go with the lens. Are you even... They're not taking too much more right now. Okay. Man, if our base walk speed was enough to escape people... Imagine. Yeah. Weak. Weak, 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 weak. Can't even kill one no more. Raw damage, uh, fire rate, max ammo, bullet speed up, could actually be what we need to help. Could. It's certainly nice. We do one more damage with our shot going through the, the lens. One more. Are we getting? Are we even getting kills over there? I don't know. Like I'm not getting the experience for it because I can't run over there. There we go. Go 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 go. Run. So those also just die in proximity. 
That's also good to know. So we can tactically just walk into them if we're low on damage. That's kind of nice. Just get the experience for now. We need we need something, you know? We need Dragon Egg looking uh, like a nope as well at this point. And of course, of course now you show up. Bullet damage, knockback. This could be fine. Summon Electrobug that calls out lightning. Does that count as summon damage when that happens? All right, fine. Let's, let's, again. I'm sure it'll work this time, right? It really feels like you needed a lot earlier. Like, we're four minutes in. It feels like an incredible first pickup. You know? Like an incredible first pickup. Oh boy. Where's Bum Boy? There's a Bum Boy. Trying to try trying so hard to get him to blow up by proximity, which is never a good sign. If I'm relying on that, that's not good. Okay, here we go. That's gonna be nice. And yet, can I even get to that experience? Probably not. This is looking very, 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 very grim. Oh yeah, this is bad. Yeah, this is bad. This build seems really not good without meta progression. Potentially, potentially. Uh, I mean, we could just like see how true that is. Is there like a positive chance to inflict burn or freeze? I mean, that could be good. Bullet damage and summon damage. Oh, this gives us both. See, that's the thing, though. This, if, if if this situation gets benefit from both, I can see why it would be weak to start because it's getting twice as much benefit. The bat gun gets twice as much benefit from that, theoretically. If it counts as summons and bullets, and it gets the damage boost of both, and the meta progression tree has a perk that upgrades both of those, it's getting 2x. Theoretically, it's getting 2x. So I can understand why it would need to be a little bit weaker. I don't know if it is. It certainly feels like garbage, though. <laughs> By comparison, it feels like garbage. Okay. Like, I can't kill. I can't kill quick enough. Egg? Egg first? Fine. I will take egg first. That, That is seemingly the way to do egg. Right? And then we, we could theoretically throw all of our other perks into... Um, upgrading the egg because i think we can survive three minutes i think we can survive three minutes with base items i need that experience get out of my way oh my god i'm so that you get so slow with this like look at that it's just am i what am i supposed to not shoot am i supposed to just not shoot My God, how do I how do I level up with this gun? How do I level up? Okay, Dragon gains eight damage every sixty seconds. Gonna have some faith, man. Just gotta have some faith in the dragon. But I just need to stop. I basically just need to stop shooting enemies because it's just. It's not worth it. That's so sad that that's not worth it. Just, oh God, abysmal. We'll see, we'll see. Mr. Dragon will come and save the day, hopefully. I'm sure. Uh, maybe take the max HP up, if I'm gonna be honest. I wanna see the dragon, so give me the max HP up. 
If I could get one meta progression perk, I would want it to be the, um... Uh, <laughs> get... You get health every thousand enemies you kill it or whatever. I saw that one there. That one seems fun. Just, do I literally just walk around until the dragon shows up and hope he's a miracle? Like, I can't do... Can't do squat yet. Like, we should have probably, like... We should probably be, like, level eight or something by now, I feel like. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, shoot. I can't get to him. Come on. When are you gonna hatch, baby? When are you gonna hatch, my boy? Ghost friend, you, sh you might solve this. And by solve, I mean you might do something. I don't think... I don't think there's much that could solve this problem right now. Oh, he's doing work. Oh, he's doing work. There we go. Ghost friend can solve it. Ghost friend, look at you go. St friend. Yeah, again, like, I... It's kind of wild that it doesn't feel like I should be shooting. You know, like, that's kind of... That's kind of a problem, isn't it? I'll, I'll take glare, probably. So enemies will just slowly die now. Oh, God. The knockback into that? Okay. Alright, don't... Yeah, it's, it's still... We do more damage with the, uh, the AoE around us. Oh, he's here. Save me. Save me! I build my life around you. I don't need to look at anything else. I just know that I'm one hit from death and thus I want this. We'll get the other stuff in a moment. All right, uh, magic lens, we could. Go dagger. All right, there we go. Yeah, maybe when we get summon damage, we'll, uh, we'll use our bat, but here we go, baby. Save us. Dragon's doing stuff now. Doing some work. Do you fire towards my cursor? You f he fires towards my cursor. That's good, though. That's good, though. Alright, uh... Summon damage, attack speed, ghost friend now shoots towards where you aim. Summon damage up just in general seems great. Yes, it, I mean, I'm not, I don't, I'm not surprised by it, but yes, it does indeed impact our, uh, our weapon as it says. Okay, look at this. We, now we're blowing things up. All it takes is not shooting for three minutes and then having the dragon come save the day. That was the plan, but like, I'm not really using the gun, you know? Not really using it at all. And guess what? The run got a lot better. Your bullets deal additional damage equal to 10% of your dragon's damage. Uh, I'm going to start with summon attack speed up. I don't care about my own damage yet. That's not something that's high priority to me. Summon damage up, summon attack speed up. See, there you go. I knew that this would eventually work out. Is it too late? Did it take too long to scale, though? It might have. It might have taken too long to scale. Whoop. Get sneak through. There we go. Oh, oh god, this is gonna be janky. Sharpen. Summon damage up 40%. Please don't. Thank you. Okay. Oh. No, oh, I thought that was going to be rough. I thought that was going to be it. The dragon looks a little too close to the enemies some in the in the heat of battle. Oh, that was terrible. Terrible dodge. All right, give me the summon summon boost. 
Move speed up, max HP. I mean, I can take that. Uh, triple your base max ammo, bullet bounce, spell damage max. Give me the back. Yeah. I'm gonna die anyways. Summon damage up. Ghost friend shoots two additional projectiles. Seems great. magic site that orbits around you. I'm going to just go with the raw summon damage for now, because that should increase the damage of the whatchamacallits as well. Okay. Our our base shots are actually kind of kind of fine now. Oh, there's so much experience to get. Our base shots are fine now. Oh, there's so much everywhere because of the nature of our build. It's just salt... Scattered. It's all scattered. Uh, dragon gets the incentive attack speed. I mean, I wish that we would have got that prior. But let's just do it. I'm I'm gonna Oh god. The skulls. I I, I wish that my skulls were not the same color more or less as the enemies. That makes things really tricky in the middle of chaos. Okay. Good. Just get it. I want to get another level, man. Risk the bullet a little bit. That should be a level up. Dragon boost. Um. That's not terrible now. Like we got the uh, we got the movement speed to go with it. Like I don't like it. I don't think it's like a good item to, to have gone for overall. Like I wish I was not in a, at a situation where it felt like a good idea. Is maybe the better thing to say. I wish it didn't feel like a good idea. It unfortunately certainly does. Dragon's doing like 105 damage, but it's not piercing. If I get piercing on my bullets, does it get piercing to the dragon's bullets or? I don't know. All I know is he's he's kind of wild. Magic lens could be good because it says any all bullets that pass through. All bullets that pass through. Oh, I don't know if the oh god, I was just watching the. I was watching the son of a gun of a oh well. All right, so we do more damage based off of our summon damage. This is. Oh, that's kind of nice. Oh, we're doing work now. What did I tell you? The scaling on this. The scaling on this. Oh, I'm going to be stuck here. Nope. Oh. Not good. Not good there. Really not good. Projectile up. Chance to freeze. Bullet damage. But knockback. Knockback sounds nice. Knockback sounds fantastic. Oh, we're still we're still quite weak. That's telling. It is telling. We're getting scaled out for sure. Getting scaled out for sure. I had, I took some time to look up at my health, and of course I got damaged while I was doing that. All right, lots of experience on the ground that we are gonna have to probably pass up because we just can't make it there. It's everywhere. Chaos. Igniting lens. Ten percent damage of what? Ten percent of the bullet that killed them? It's huge for dragon, if so. Ah, uh, no, ten percent of my my bullet damage. 
I just, I can't stop. You, it's when you can't stop running in one direction, you are in a nightmare scenario. We're, we, we are on a timer. We're on a very small life timer at this point. Yeah. yeah when you can't stop running uh, in a certain direction. But alas, hey, back to the menu there. We got our, we got our win with basically no meta progression. And then there's like all of this here. Uh, it seems, seems quite fine. Heal additional one HP every fifth level. Gain four more experience per rank. This has five levels in it. Whenever you, your HP drops to one, heal three HP activates once per game. How does this have five ranks in it? Boy, boy, they meta progressioned this up like crazy, which, you know, sure, people like it. People like the meta progress. It's usually not my jam. I, I usually like it when you don't really need to do that. Like, I don't know. I feel like there's a, there's a world where, I don't know. How do you make meta progression and an infinite, like a, a ascension system work in the same game? I mean, I guess just like this, because people are fine with playing for 10 hours just to, to grind out. The, the full chart and everything. That's probably why. Uh, but hey, very cool. Still, I think extreme meta progression with, you know, still withstanding. I think the game is uh, a fantastic arena survival roguelike. And you know what? I think people who like this genre kind of like meta progression anyways, for whatever reason. I think for just, it adds like, it adds artificial game length, game time length to it. Uh, and I guess some people like that because they want the bang for the buck vibe. So you will get a lot of bang for your buck if you're looking for hours. If you're looking for hours, absolutely. This new full version of it is going to be fantastic. Uh, fun synergies in it. There are, I, I do hope that in the future upgrades or future updates, there will be more upgrades because I definitely was noticing by the time I hit uh, roughly around 20 minutes on that, the first run, and that that was with me plateauing because I wasn't doing just I wasn't doing enough damage yet. It's still was it was getting to the point where I was getting every upgrade that was in the game and looking at the meta progression tree, seeing the fact that uh, at at a certain point you're gonna get twenty percent more experience. You'll little you're literally gonna see twenty percent more perks. And you'll probably have a build that's killing things by that point. You'll probably just get every perk in the game. And it's, you know, making a specific build eventually becomes not that meaningful if your character is going to have every perk that's in the game anyways at the end of the game. Because then guess what? You're always making the same build. The only thing that matters is your character and weapon choice at that point. And maybe your cursed tones, which uh, I will say are great I love the cursed tome idea. The that I think really, really helps with adding variety. I hope they make sure they lean into that kind of angle of making things that are more unique from run to run like that. Uh, otherwise, it really does just seem like pick the character, pick the weapon. You kind of have an idea about what an end game run looks like already. Uh, but alas, very cool. Again, highly recommended. If you like this genre, this is probably the best. Like full-ish full one out. It's hard. Uh, it's early access. Uh, this is probably the one that I would recommend that's out. I would also say keep an eye on Brotato when that comes out in early access or whatever because the demo for that is fantastic. But alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it for today. This has been 20 Minutes Till Dawn. My name is Retromation, covering the games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If you like this genre, if you like finding these games early before all the other channels, pick them up. This is a great channel for you. I covered this about a month ago and... There's a lot of people that are going to start picking it up just right now. So if you want to have heard about this game a month ago, this is a great channel to subscribe to. I will make sure you uh, you get all of the earliest tips on these great games. Alas, alas, thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!